guys George from Cypress Insight and today we're just driving through a Nepa. I'm going to do a few drive-ins in the next few weeks as I am having my leg operated on so I shan't be able to walk so we'll drive through and show you what's going on so what is it Sunday today it's 34 degrees so it's very very busy down here I'd like to wish Jazz a very happy birthday
Mr. Tatsiki. Great value for money. Delish food, guys. Just on the right. It's not a small place. And there's good old McDonald's. old Rolls, Rolls Royce coming up. White one. There we are. 425A. That is old. traditional tavern at the opposite. Really nice food in there. Been there a couple of times. Highly recommend it. Very delish. rooftop restaurant as well and on the left is the uh, monastery I do believe it's closed at the moment they're refurbishing it That's all the bars and the clubs on my left, giving that uh, frame of mind. Right, so you can go right here, that'll take you into Larnaca or Paralimni. And if you do, sorry, left Paralimni, are we doing a right? and that take us down towards the Sculpture Park. So we'll go down.
Sculpture Park as I said and if you want to go for an evening stroll just after sunset that would be nice in the Sculpture Park beautiful sculptures in there, really spectacular. Well, of course if you come off season, go during the day, it's nice and cool, and have a look around. And they're making sculptures every day down there, adding to them all the time. Right, so we're coming up to the end of Nissi Avenue. Right, so I'm going to do a left. There's a sculpture park on my right, you see? I mean, during the day, this time of the year, it's far too hot to be walking around there. Be sweating. But uh, if you want to go in the evening, as I said, it's a really nice place to visit. And it's free of charge to get in. There's thousands of sculptures there. I'll turn around here. And then you get another glimpse of it. see some fantastic sculptures probably over 500 sculptures in that park and every single one of them is outstanding Very, very lively after 11 o'clock. Well, that's what I've been told anyway. So, straight ahead.
left. So it's a bit of a maze going through A and Epa. It's a bit of a maze. Down here, some restaurants. God knows where we are. Straight ahead of more little restaurants tucked away. Oh, that's no entry that way. So we'll go right. Lots of little apartments around the back of Aya Nepa. The Hungry Horse, that is a really nice place to eat. You should try that, very reasonably priced. So, where are we going now? We're going to do a left, I think, because right is no entry. So, there you go. Left. Oh, there's even a barber shop. Right, so, if we do a left, we'll be going down towards the uh, main road of Napa, I think. Another load of these quad bikes for rent. Look, all lined up. There's hundreds of them. Clubs are, I do believe. Looks like this is the quiet end. Quite a few of the clubs still closed. Here, these clubs round here open a bit later on. 
but they're definitely open. There's a new one on our left, massive. And the pirates in. Bedrock, look. I forgot, I've got to turn right to get out of here guys. So that's bedrock there and the Pirates Club on my right. Yeah. There's the Castle Club on my left. It's a grand opening on Friday the 18th of June. back towards the monastery in the middle. Right guys that was a interesting little trip round A in Napa. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below.